Hey everyone, this is Christine with Left Side Art and today we're going to create another art journal layout. The first step is to create a background and what I have here is tissue paper by Dana Wakely and a Christmas stamp. And what I'm going to do is stamp this tissue paper with archival black ink and make a random pattern. This tissue paper holds the ink very well. After it's dry, it's perfectly fine. It won't smear or anything like that. And you can get this tissue paper with printed art already on it by Dana Wakely, or you can create your own. Now taking a stencil by Dina Wakely and applying the same archival black ink with a blender tool onto the same tissue paper. And this is a stencil by Diane Reevely. And I'm tying, tying them together just by using the same stencil on all the sheets. This is my large dilutions journal that I've been using this year. And what I'm doing is applying gel matte medium and adhering two pages together and making sure I get it down the creases and such just so that some of the liquid that I apply to the page won't leak through to my other pages. This book has gotten really thick so I end up taking out the rest of the pages I had in this journal and I'll save them to create another smaller journal. I'm just tearing up the tissue paper that I made and I'll apply it to the background in random order with the same matte medium. Now to add some color to my background once the gel medium has dried, I'm taking some of the Dina Wakely Media paint here and I'm using Sedona, which is kind of that burnt orangish red, and Evergreen. The red wasn't um, as red as I wanted for this, so I did mix in some Deco Art True Red Acrylic Paint. Now to darken some of my edges, I'm using a Distress Crayon called Black Soot from Tim Holtz, package number three. I tried using the crayons by Dana Wakely first, but they just weren't dark enough to cover up some of this paint. And these crayons are nice. You can smudge them around with your finger and they have pretty nice coverage. I also like to try to catch the edges of the paper that we uh, glued down and apply some of this black soot. And so I'm just randomly going around and catching some of those edges that didn't lay completely flat just to give it a little bit of an older distressed look. Now this paint is also by Dina Wakely. This is called Gilt. It's kind of like a gold color. And I'm just using my splatter brush to splatter this gold throughout my background. I'm also going to splatter some acrylic white paint. You can use white gesso or whatever you have on hand for that. This is some Christmas music pages I, used, I had just randomly, um, but I figured it was fitting for this background since it did have deck to halls and different musical pieces. But you can take any old book pages uh, and do a similar effect. 
I'm just going to use the same gel matte medium to glue down these pages. I first cover the background with the glue and then I will also put the gel medium on the fronts of the pages so when I go to add my different media it will glide on, glide on a bit easier. I'm just going to build up my background a bit more and I want to add some texture and different layers in here. So I'm taking some burlap and I think this actually came out of one of my Dina Wakely mixed media journals. Um, but you can use any burlap you have on hand. And then I have some random sheets of paper that will help tie in the background as well. Again, I'm using the same gel matte medium as before, making sure I cover the backs and the fronts. I die cut these trees prior to starting this layout, so I didn't do it on camera, but it's just a little thin die that I had paid for a dollar or so at a generic location. So they're not any name brand item or anything like that. And if you don't have these, you can print out images, you know, online or print out magazine cutouts. But I use the same colors, the green paper that I was adding in the background to make sure everything um, kind of coincides. Now I'm going to work on the second step, which is choosing a focal object. This is a wooden snowflake, and I'm going to use the same gilt paint that I used prior, and then also the Distress Spray Stain color is Picket Fence um, to add just a little bit of spritz on top of it. I add some of that gilt that I had left over to my background too, just to kind of help tie it in. I also cut out these reindeer using a thin dye that's generic and such off camera. But I'm using the same gel medium to layer them on 
top of my background here. I end up adjusting them a little bit, which is something you can do with this gel medium that doesn't dry right away. Some of my colors from my background kind of got pulled into the glue on my brush and um, I do end up going back over with some white acrylic paint once this glue dries. I keep calling it glue, but it's actually a product by Ranger. It's called Multi Medium Matte and I'll have a link below. For the heavier objects for the large snowflake and some of these smaller snowflakes, I am using Eileen's Tacky Glue. It just helps with adhering the much larger objects. Uh, this snowflake wasn't popping as much as I wanted from that original spray with the picket fence, so I just took some white acrylic paint and added in a bit more white to it. And then this gold shimmer that I'm using is by um, Schminke, and it's called bronze is the color but I think it's actually supposed to be used for watercolor I think a lot of watercolor artists use it so now we're getting on to the last step which is creating your message and I'm using the same set of Christmas stamps that I started with and this one says joy to the world and I first started with the same one of the two green colors that I used throughout my background and I tried using just black archival ink and it wasn't popping very nicely so I used some um, bright white embossing powder and Versamark and just embossed it on there. And that's basically the last step of this art journal. I'll add a little finishing touches here and there. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you would like a free download with December 2018 marked on top of it for your computer, laptop, tablet, phone, and whatnot, there's a link below to my website where you can download that for free. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.